It was big news. A Muslim man kicked off a Delta flight for speaking Arabic on the phone to his mother, freaking out Islamophobic passengers and the evil, evil airline. This outraged celebrities. Even actress Olivia Wilde vowed to boycott Delta. Yes, the great Olivia Wilde. And CNN's Brian Stelter, who rails against fake news all the time, retweeted the victim's video, which fanned the flames. But hold on, you heroic warriors of social justice. <laughs> Stop indulging your assumptions for just one moment, and you'll find that this so-called victim is a renowned hoaxer who fakes events on planes. On his YouTube channel are videos of him with titles like Arabs on a Plane, Speaking Arabic on a Plane, and Counting Down in Arabic on a Plane. I sense a trend here. Recently, he staged a fake video with a New York City cop harassing men in Muslim dress. It was fake. He even faked a story about boarding a plane in a suitcase. Fake. And there's the time he claimed the Boston bombers were <laughs> framed. He's also a 9-11 truther. Ugh. And still celebs in the media by his shtick. This ghoul says that even though he's cried wolf many times before, this time it's real and he's consulting a lawyer. So should Delta. Sue this divisive, alienating a-hole. We must finally declare war on hoaxers. Because once again, without evidence, so many swallow an attention-seeking drama, happily smearing a company and the innocent people that it employs. So who's worse, the hoaxer or his frothing enablers in the media? Hard to say, but in the meantime, until further notice, let's make all of them walk. All right, Delta uh, released a statement saying, based on the information collected to date, it appears the customers who were removed, these jerks, sought to disrupt the cabin with provocative behavior, including shouting. This type of contact is not welcome on any Delta flight. Uh, and then they go on to say that it became clear that these guys are pranksters, blah, 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 blah. Okay. He's claiming it's sincere. But if he's been doing these pranks in the past, hasn't he lost the right for anyone to believe his shenanigans? I think so, yes. And But the thing is, that what you might find on the left, though, so like people like Olivia Wilde who jumped on it initially, yeah. you know that whole thing, like if there's a, a hate crime turns out to be a hoax, it doesn't but matter. then the left says, well, it's still a valuable lesson uh, yes. because hate crimes do exist. Yes. So I think that you'll probably find it here. Like, well, do you do you think Muslims aren't discriminated against on airplanes? Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, that's what the kind of response you'll get. Eric, uh, aren't the victims here Delta and yes. their employees and the passengers? Right, victims are everyone because yeah. it's the PC culture that enables this, as you w uh, ably point out. But the enablers in the media also enablers in the White House. Mm -hmm. Remember Clock Boy? Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. if. I oh, would say. Ahmed. Uh, what? Ahmed? Yeah. yeah. Poor Ahmed? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, uh, also a hoaxer. I mean, you make a clock this big in a yeah. suitcase that looks like a ticking time bomb. President Obama invites him to the White House, and we find out later that there's a whole lot of stuff going on in his yeah, past. Yeah. It feels like the same thing to me. Fake news is a real problem, though. I got to tell you, it's really, really difficult to figure out what's real and what's fake. And now that they're going to video, mm -hmm. it used to be a story. You couldn't figure, is this real or not? Let me see the source. It looks like a real, and then you, you find out it's not. But now videos? Yeah. You you know, what's real, what's not. But by the way, Delta did say they have passengers who claim he was talking really, really yeah, loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was staged. Yeah. He was, and, he, and he was looking at people and saying, Delta. And he, was, he had it all set up. And he, then he yeah. tweeted his uh, website. By the way, Clockboy literally did create 15 minutes of fame yeah. for himself. With his own <laughs> and he could count it down with his own briefcase. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> exactly. See, I think, I think someone like this actually wants to be harmed. I think he's masochistic because mm -hmm. if you get on a plane yes. post 9 11, and we've all learned this, and we all have very low tolerance for people's shenanigans on planes. And who has the lowest tolerance we learned this week? Pop star Richard Marks. Yes. He wanna... single handedly on a Korean Air flight subdued a man who was assaulting female flight attendants. Yeah. And the flight attendants were standing there with tasers ready to tase the man. <laughs> the only reason they didn't is because they weren't properly trained on the devices. Yeah. They couldn't figure out how to use them. So they had to. Uh, luckily, Richard Marks was right there waiting for them. Right. Like, and, and he, yeah, do. It, over a four hour first, period. First time that's, that term has ever been yeah. uttered. For, right. Luckily, Richard Marks was there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Richard. <laughs> yeah, as in, as in, don't tase me, bro. Yes. <laughs> but well, wait, 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 I want to come out of this. You could be seriously injured, screwed around guy, on a plane like that. So it's crazy, and let me just say, this guy I read also was revealed to be a jerk and an antagonistic yes. force. On a flight, he said that he 
jumped, jumped into a suitcase, suitcase right. to fly from Melbourne to Sydney. Yes. And the Australians said, uh-uh, never happened. Again, yep. a hoax. So I don't see how he can reach out to anybody, yeah. even if you have a legitimate concern. Yeah. And believe me, I know because I've, you know, I got in big trouble for saying that when I see people dressed in Muslim garb on an airplane, I get nervous. But I got to tell you something. There's a reality, I'm sure, that some people like me get nervous. Okay. But when this guy does this kind of stuff, it undermines any legitimacy yeah. mm -hmm. right. to the complaint. And so he damages people who think that they are coming together and standing for their rights and liberties as Americans. I think you undermine the cause. I think you're hurting your own side. I don't think he cares. I think he's in it for himself. You know, he's, he likes to be known as a, a successful YouTube prankster, which is a, a long way of saying loser. But, uh, hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. YouTube pranksters, YouTube yeah. stars are wildly paid no, well. Do you know I how mean, they upwards they of two million a, book? a year for yeah, the best tons one? Tons of money no. for this what? stuff. No, they all these on my book tour. So I, you probably saw the same. So um, either right before me or right after me, the stores were preparing for the big YouTube star that was coming. And there was this one from Australia. And I said, Well, what does he do? They're like, Oh, he just talks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he did a book, and he's got a whole deal, and it's all because of YouTube. I meant him specifically being the loser. Oh, yeah, he's a loser. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a loser. Wonder, like, does he get money for this? He's the latest. He gets ads. Well, he would get ads, right? He's the latest balloon boy. Ah, balloon boy. Remember balloon balloon boy, boy, clock boy. Yeah, exactly. Another inflated story. By the way, I just, why, why do you say <laughs> clock boy was, was a fraud? I don't think it was a fraud. He was, he was oh, purposely on. trying to, 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 to look like I don't he know was, that was building a bomb. He was setting yeah. up an environment as a victim. You don't think that this was a kid who had a science experiment? No. no. It was definitely an experiment. His family, you remember that? No, I don't. I know what you might say, but the, I also think it, father, it, it was a legitimate the experiment. The father claimed to be the, the uh, president-elect of Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah, well, believe me, we got a lot of crazy people, but I don't know that it's what you... I mean, I don't, don't know that it was a hoax By the way, like there were other one. hoaxes that were exposed. There was uh, a church down south, the K, the, whoever had scrawled KKK on the church, and it was ap uh, linked to Trump. Turns out it was actually a black member of the church. Mm. So these and then there was a the cake, uh, the, cake uh, the, uh, the 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 racial oh, the, yeah. Uh, oh yeah yeah but these, it, are, these there are just, was the young woman who claimed that a, a man forced her to take off her hijab said that he pulled out a lighter said he was going that, to light her on fire University of Michigan that just came out Care was the one who jumped on that turns out totally made up they can't find anything so so nothing's this, true so I guess what I'm saying in this no. day and age shouldn't Brian Stelter hold off the, yeah. the retweeting just for a bit just look it up I think so I think Twitter is a CNN yeah. has Google. They have they have computers. <laughs> Come on. They have, if you have a computer, you can go to Google. It's really simple, and you can just type in somebody's name and just press. Search. But what benefit does he get, or does anyone, any one of us get, by being first yeah. to report those stories? Like, did, I always think like it only matters when I'm drinking. Did Stelter retweet or did he add commentary? He said like it? he goes, "Wow, this is really catching on." So that oh, was his way of big if true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying it's real. I'm sorry, but isn't he hosting the show th that exposes yes. media calamities yes. like this? I yes. mean, isn't that what he's supposed? Isn't he's he lectured the person all of us. at the front lines of yes. the vetting police? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but the the one good thing about this is it ushers in a new age of skepticism. Yeah. Because if you think that everything yeah, is fake, like you're that. going to do more work trying to find what is absolutely real and what you can trust. Yeah, I don't know though. I'm pretty you're lazy. Skeptical. I'm pretty lazy. I'm skeptical of that. <laughs> everything you just said, I really don't believe.